I am a Nikon packing slip. I've never seen that before. Explain. We've just got to go for a drive. We're going to test out the Z50 as a vlogging camera. Of course, it can be a vlogging camera now. I don't have the kit. When I bought the Z50, there was a, a bit of a promotion going on. Well, as luck would have it, just as I was finishing editing of this video, something arrived by the camera and get some vlogging bits. This is the free vlogging kit that came with the Z50 twin lens kit. We have the Gorilla Pod from Joby Jobby. This is the 1K version, so for lighter cameras. The Z50 vlogging road test without the kit. We'll do it again when the free kit arrives. way smaller than I thought it would be. That's a very lightweight. This big, big guy here. Um, this is metal and heavy. This is light and plastic. Here I am in my home city and this is the weirdest experience I've ever felt. There's just no question. I, never in my almost 50 years of life have I experienced coming into my own city and it literally being like an apocalypse. Not quite completely deserted, but very close. Street cleaners are still going. Can hear the street cleaner coming. 30 is a bit tighter than 24. I want to see how it goes. I want to see if I can just mix and match with this little beastie and get it to do what I want to do. The other things I'm interested in is what's the 4K quality look like? L bracket that goes uh, under the camera. And uh, this is from a small rig and this allows the flippy screen to flip. The What's unique about this is that it allows you to mount off to one side so the screen can flip. And it's got the little mounting screw. That's very cute, that's the screw and that's little screwdriver that's always there. That's just in there magnetically, which is really cool. Easy. And in this very vehicle, I don't know, six months ago, I talked about how I thought, I thought the headline feature of the Z50, besides its price point, and I said it in this video that you can watch up here, is the mount. You've got access to all of the Z glass. So that just sits there like that on the bottom and this is where you mount to. Yes, I thought I really should come into the city and see how the gallery and everything is going. It's been over a month since I've been here. The front door looks secure. So I'll have a bit of a look around while I'm here because there's almost nobody around. It's very quiet. It's busier where I live, people exercising than it is here in the city, which is what we found a month ago. This place was just literally empty. And then finally we have a Rode. This is a Rode Micro. Haven't had one of these before. That's quite a dead cat. I think you could probably work in a uh, level five hurricane on this one. 
the beauty, the highlight feature of the Z50 is the ability to access the 35mm Z mount lenses, which does take me on a little segue, and it's a video that we need to make very soon. You know, I said a month ago, this was an opportunity to come and shoot your city when it's at its quietest, if you're allowed. It's very quiet. I've never seen it this quiet. Is it like a Sunday morning? No, it's more than a Sunday morning. Mm. It's creepy, actually. And now we're going to attach these two guys into the equation. Doesn't look weird. Obviously, that is with the uh, heavier of the two lenses. Let me grab the small lens. That is a much more lightweight package with that little guy on the front. Yeah, well, that's really easy to hold on to. And the reason they supply this kit is for this reason right here. So you can, so you can see yourself. Well, uh, it actually looks like it works. And I have to say it's much lighter than the current Z6 kit and that larger jobby and so on that I use. Interesting, getting me in focus. Well, so uh, I actually think that works quite well. They have left opportunity in, in that size for it to be something larger than 35 mil. Now I'll have to double check the numbers on what the Fuji GFX100 is in the size of the actual sensor. But I believe, look, looking at what, what the size of the Sony mount and then uh, how the chip sits within there, if you were to base it on the same sort of physics and so on and space that they have available, you would definitely be able to fit a much larger sensor in the mount provided. The Z mount, I believe, has been designed to have a very exciting and interesting future with not only APS-C sensors, 35mm sensors, but there is opportunity for a larger sensor in there and this mount provides for that. So you can literally have on one mount, I suspect, three different standards. Obviously you can have as many as you want in there, but you probably don't want more than three. You want a small one, you want a medium one, and you want a large one. And I think that's what they've done. So the highlight feature for the Z50 is access to the mount and the glass that follows. It's weird, isn't it? I really hope the authorities get it right as to when to start again. The worst thing that we could do globally is to yo-yo. And what I mean by that is we ease restrictions and then people get sick again and we have to tighten them up. Because businesses, small businesses especially, are not going to cope very well with opening and closing and opening and closing. Normally this car park would be full at this time of day. Pretty full. Uh, to give you an idea, it's 9 o'clock. And this is where all the boat sheds are and where all the rowing happens. What will be interesting, and I'm not sure I have come across anyone talking about whether the Z glass as it stands today has the opportunity to allow for a slightly bigger sensor and still the lenses we have today be full frame for that sensor. Is it possible that these lenses can actually accommodate another 10 or 20% around the edge? I have no idea. Probably not, but maybe. Anyway, so that is the highlight feature of the Z50, is the mount. Okay, well we're vlogging and testing out the Z50's kit. Mini zoom, a 16 to 50, so a 24 to 75, 35 mil equivalent. And uh, I was vlogging before with the 20 mil and it wasn't stabilized. Now this is stabilized. So I'd like to think as we're walking along the river here, well, it's all quite stable. Business is about goodwill. When you buy a business, part of the purchase is goodwill. And goodwill comes from all sorts of things, consistency, quality, so on. No different to anything else, whether you watch this channel or 
buy my book. It comes from quality and goodwill. You like it. You like the experience. You like being here. Well, the city's the same and businesses are the same. Uh, let alone all the economic fundamentals of opening and closing. You know, you buy up stock and then you use it for a week and then they make it shut down again, etc. Like, everybody's a little bit different. I really hope they get that right. Let's go have a little look around elsewhere. Can you tell me how stabilised? Are we happy with this? Is it looking good? Okay, so what we're going to do now is pop the zoom, the big zoom on the Z50. And that's something that you can just carry in your pocket really easily. I didn't even notice it. Obviously this lens is made of a lot of plastic. Why are we here today? Well, I want to say thank you. So I made, I made this video, which you can see up here, which was about book, a book order. If, if you remember that video about the book orders, I just didn't really think about it too hard, but from that video, I've actually had a few book orders from you, the YouTube world, and that is beautiful, and I want to say thank you. Yeah, they're going overseas, Netherlands and a few other places. It's just so nice. So anyway, I'm here to pick up some more stock. This is the vlogging test, and we do have the non-stabilized lenses. I wonder how that's going. Let's grab a box first, though. We want a box of these guys. There's the Z50 with the big kahuna, the 50 to 250. All right, let's shoot some video on that. There we go. Some light, how good. Okay, let's pack. Now, all these years ago, I made some really cool boxes. When I was very first making calendars, I decided I was uh, printing everything in Australia and I wanted to make a box that could do a few different things. And so I had these boxes made. Got my name on them, both sides, and they actually, I, w I always wanted to get a patent, but you know, I never really had enough money for a patent. I actually designed them to be a box for shipping my mount boards, so prints of a 12 by 16 inch size, and they fit frames of the same size, but I also designed them to be, and check this out, a carry bag. Again, it's full stretch. Close focus on the ducks. That is 375. Yeah, that's good. I'm impressed by that. That's a 375 mil, and then we are going to go out to the horizon. And that's pretty quick. To go from about one kilometer to five meters. And smooth. That was nice. We've got the exposure set to manual now. And again, we're just doing a little bit of a walking test walking along the, uh, the edge of the river here. You see up there in the middle of the frame, that is a drone. You are not allowed to fly drones here, but probably somebody's taking the opportunity. So another thing I don't like about the Z50 is the, I'm a left eye guy, so my nose touches the touch screen and zooms the pictures in, zooms them in and out, zooms everything in and out, my big nose. Something I don't like. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Our dear friend in the Netherlands got this book. These two books. Sydney book. Box. This is how it would work. We put some padding in the end. I'm just showing you how the box works because for overseas freighting, I don't turn it into a, a shopping bag. But with this design, you could lift the handles up and then this was designed to go through like so, it would hold onto it. And so this box doubles as a bag. And of course it's recyclable. And I did this 16 years ago because I like the idea of having no plastic bags. Oh, the sun's popped out, that's nice. Still on stills. Let's see how chromatic aberration goes. I think we found on this lens it was good. I mean, we are at 6.3 because we're at full 
Bridge. Now we're looking at the other side of the river. These blokes running along here. Yeah, they're a long way away. So right here in this moment, everything feels sort of normal. It's quiet, but the sun's out and we can see it on the buildings there. That looks nice. That's at 70 mil equivalent, 75, sorry. And that's at full zoom. Yeah, so look, I, uh, I think my summation of this is this is a competent little camera so far. It's fast to focus. It's got good 4K video. It's very light and very small. And I think the price point is exceptional. Yeah, so part of what's so amazing about this is it fits in your pocket and it's very light. Now we need to do some B-roll with the big lens. Well, everybody, the Z50. It's a camera that you, you know, really can't go wrong with. It has the absolute headline feature of this camera is the fact that it's the Z mount and all the advantages that come with the Z mount, the F to Z adapter, and being able to use, of course, all of your F glass as well if you have any so it's a great option if you just want to start to experiment with the Z along with that it has very good 4k video very competent 20 megapixel stills which are going to give you a great result price point bang for buck this is a great camera you just simply can't go wrong at this price and there's the lenses the two kit lenses very sharp very competent the image stabilization is good. If you want to experiment with Z, this is a great way to go. As always, everybody, thank you so much for being here today. It has been so good to see you. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, please share, please like. I've now got over 200 videos that you can watch here, all about photography, cameras, image making, business, all sorts of stuff. I really look forward to seeing you again soon. All right. Bye for now.